I'm going to make, I call her a skeleton bride. Hey, Denise. Um, let me show you what I have for her. I love this. I love, 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 love. Look at this. This hat. It has like a spider web all in it. And I think it's supposed to be worn this way. But I'm going to do it this way. So the veil is going to be in front of her face. And she's going to have... She's going to have white, white hair. I'm zoomed in right now, so you can't really see, but she's going to have long white hair. All right, so, oh, really quick, I just got to show you this. There's nothing to it, but I'm excited to do it. I'm going to be doing a pumpkin. I even, I uh, sculpted the little stem here. I'm going to be doing this uh, tutorial for my group. I'm super excited about that with a face like similar to this. It was for a group member's request, so. Hey, Candy. All right, um, just really quick, um, if anybody would like to be um, notified for when I go live by text message, just go to your cell phone and your text message and type the word creepy to the number 74121 and you'll be notified whenever I go live. Just so you know, I don't send out live notifications if it's past 8 p.m. my time, California Coast time, specific standard time, because I don't want it to be too late for anybody else. I know, Denise, I'm excited to do it. I am um, uploading the tutorial for the pumpkin one here uh, tomorrow. It'll be in group. Oh, yay, I'm so happy, Irene. I'm so happy. Ron, when you're done, can you bring me the, the thermometer that's on the counter? Just real quick. I'm glad that you love her. Awesome. What else? Um, anybody looking for last minute pump, uh, Halloween heads? I got a good amount of heads in my shop. If you go to uh, creepyholidaystuff.com, you're going to find um, some heads in there for sale. There's a few of them, a few different Halloween ones. Thank you so much for the stars, Irene. I really appreciate it. Thank you. And I'd really appreciate it if you guys would share. That's not my camera. This is my camera. I'm not using that one. It's disabled, so I can use my Logitech. Oh. <laughs> All right, I got it. Can you bring me the thermometer, please? Okay. Um, I'm going to get started because I'm just being a chatterbox. So, yes, please share, do the thumbs up, hearts, comment, whatever you can do so that the algorithm gets going. So, I just did a little sketching. Um, I prepped the head. Uh, I catered to this section here because I'm not worried about back here, you know, or on top because um, she's going to have a wig and a hat. I used vanilla, which is by craft smart as the base coat and I'm using a sketch and wash pencil and I just put a line here so I can get an idea of where uh, the teeth are gonna go but I did have a thought that this time I'm going to use little rhinestones for the teeth so um, hopefully I grabbed enough I can only I'm trying to I'm using um, the little these ones, you know, like little diamond, I guess, shaped. And I pulled out as many as I could find. And I think I was only able to find like 16 or 18. I don't know. So I was going to do that here and uh, see how it looks. That would be kind of fun. Try something a little different. I'm going to go ahead and uh, draw out the teeth a little bit so that I can. Um, what thermometer are you talking about? The push, the one that you go like this, it's on, right next to the on, the, on the breakfast bar where the hand sanitizer is and the stuff. Um, I'm going to, you know, use the shadowing and stuff behind it. So, I don't know. We'll see how it looks. All right. So, before I do that, I'm going to get the nose painted and the eyes. I'm not sure if I'm going to do eyes or I'm going to keep them closed. Um, kind of don't, kind of don't feel like doing eyes tonight, but I know it would probably look better, but I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so I'm just gonna use. Yeah, 
You have 97.4. Okay. Let me do this. What are you doing? I'm going to keep 90. it here. 98. Okay. What do you have? 98. Oh, God. You know why? Because you're always wearing sweaters. Well, 98 is normal, Ron. Okay. Get started here. Sorry, I was feeling flushed. He's talking already, I know. I'm feeling flushed because I think a lot of it is in my head because my grandson has COVID and now my daughter's experiencing weird, um, she's congested, headache, and now like tingly facial skin. So I think in my head I'm like freaking out and you know how your mind can do things like that. Anyway. Okay, so let's see. I have another head that I'm going to be doing. Um, and I think after I do it, I'm, I'm going to back off and get busy on the Christmas heads because I just get all these ideas for Halloween and I want to do them. So I'm doing her. And then the pumpkin one I just showed you guys. And then I also have, just so you know, you this cute hat I had one of these last year and I never used it so I'm gonna use this hat and I have a cute little uh, short pixie wig that's gonna go with that and that's gonna be on um, this head Ooh, right here this is um, I think it's bamboo is the color of that one so Okay, just filling you in on what I got planned. That circle's not very even. The thing that sucks is if I don't do an eyeball, you just you can't even really see the lashes or nothing, you know? So I don't know. I don't know yet. I'm just going to make it all black for now. Ah, uh, thank you, Cindy. Thank you so much for the stars. I really appreciate it, you guys, when you send me stars. Those go to supplies so I can uh, keep making these fun heads. Trying to sell them to everybody. <laughs> just got here. Where do you get your hats? Hey, Fran. Um... The hats come from a variety of places. I prefer to get them at Spirit, um, but I also get them at Party City. Um, that one I just showed, and this one I actually got at Michael's. But basically, Party City and Spirit is where my hats come from. Now, unless I'm doing the those custom little uh, mini hats, I've done... I think three of those and those come from Chicka Bird. Correct me if I'm wrong, you guys, because sometimes I say the wrong one. I think it's Chicka Bird. She makes the most beautiful little mini hats. And there's one I saw that I wanted to get that she recently made. But like I said, I need to get busy on some Christmas heads. I want to do some more Santa Clauses going to do some elves and I'm going to be doing some sculpting with the nose. I don't know if for some of you that have been with me remember Trixie. Um, I want to do some like Trixie with a cute little nose. Thank you Fran. So hopefully this one will turn out groovy. Also, um, just so you guys know, if you purchase a head that um, has a hat that's a good size hat like this one, it will come shipping separate in a separate box because I buy my boxes in bulk and um, they won't fit together. So 
you would be um, having shipping for two boxes. And what I'll do on the second box um, for like this one, I'll add like 450 to the second box. But your original box will be $11 and that's for priority shipping. I know that that uh, like U UPS ground or, or not UPS ground, but whatever, regular USPS mail is cheaper, but when I do these heads, I want them to get to you as soon as possible. I don't like them sitting in, you know, in transit from post office to post office. To me, there's a higher chance of it getting damaged. It just worries me. But I do package my, my heads very, very good. I use tons of packaging. But um, the reason why the shipping is a little up is because it goes priority mail. So you get it in one to three days, unless something weird happens. But that's what it is. It's supposed to be one to three days. They're close. They're not totally perfect. I took those bad heads back to Michael's away. You can buy bulk of them and seems give you the Yeah. I was super lucky um with my last uh order. But I see that they've been getting stocked finally back with heads, so I don't have to do that again, but I have, like I've mentioned before, I have lost some money on uh, buying online. I try to avoid it unless I absolutely have to. What size box to use for heads? Um, it's 9 by 9 by 12, but I'm going to um, start looking at going into 14 because just, just the littlest things, for example, this, what I'm working on here where I, I sculpted the stem, well, now I see when I measured it after the fact, I'm a little bit over 12. So it's like, uh, I'm just going to see about 14 inch because I don't believe it'll increase the shipping. I don't think at all um, because I like to do th things like this and I like to put hats and stuff. And by doing 12, you know, I'm limited, but that's what I've used for like three years. I keep on. Um, I keep all your boxes in case I decide to sell one. Am I? That's a very good idea. You should because you know what? They're they're perfect size just for a regular head like this without any accessories. And uh, I hate having to ship second boxes, but you know I don't want to try to force everything in one box. I know that'll get messed up. Mm -hmm. Yes, you do package. Really good. Thank you. I try my best. I do try my best because you know I put a lot of time into the heads and I, I want them to look nice and I definitely to me, you know, when a customer takes the time to purchase it, I want to make sure they get it exactly how they see it, you know. I'm hoping anyway, and I don't want any damage to come to it. But, you know, there's there's no guarantee. Something terrible can always happen, but I usually have pretty good luck um, with my packaging. <laughs> what did they say, Fran? Did they say anything? Did you give them a piece of your mind? <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting this paint all over my fingers. Uh, let me use that liner here really quick. Just once. Just once. Let's try this one. At first, the lady said no, but I just stood there. Good. Stand your ground because that's ridiculous. When you pay for something, they should be um, more careful, not, you know, be so careless or give you, just send you all the damaged ones, just trying to get rid of them. So I got into a conversation one time with a lady at Joann's and they never had any, you know, new heads and it's like, 
you know, all your heads are damaged. You keep them down low so that, you know, people can fool with them. And, of course, children are going to have fun and pinch the nose off or do whatever they can to them. So, they're just all, always damaged. And she told me, she goes, well, we can't, we can't order new ones until, you know, we sell those. And I'm like, well, they're not going to sell, I wouldn't think. And they eventually started putting the majority of their heads on a very top shelf where I actually have to, you know, reach or ask for help to get them because they're just constantly damaged. But they weren't getting new ones until they got rid of those. And I think they finally figured out that was stupid. Okay. Dang it, I made that one go out a little too far. Yeah, sounds like they were just trying to get rid of all their rejects, like you said. That's why I don't even do curbside pickup. I did that when it started, they first started doing it when the pandemic first started. And I was getting crappy heads. And I had told them when I ordered, I call and say that I had to an order and I didn't want any damaged ones. And they got a little bit pissy about it. You know, oh, they just didn't have the time to sift through them. But well. Not super even. Let me go down a little bit further here. Yeah, and they're cheaper. Or they were cheaper. They are smaller, and I, the only thing I don't care about them is they have the longer necks. And a lot of time when they when people want to put them in wreaths, those longer necks, they have to cut them, or just try to try to work around them, I guess. But I use them too, but not as much. I like them uh, a lot for their eye. Their, their eyes. Their eyes are good. Okay, I'm really screwing this up here. I'm really not making this a circle. I think it's close enough. I'm not going to keep messing with it. You have to remember to keep pulling the stuff down. Don't understand it. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Um. So let me just count real again here. I have two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. You I have sixteen, so that leaves room for only eight. So and they're gonna be skinny. So there would be one there. Well, I guess I could just do the fronts. One there, one there. I'm just drawing just a little tiny just to get an idea. One, two, three, four. Six. Seven, eight. That's all I have room for. Mm. So they're this size too. They're super small. And their noses are so our noses are good. Some have gotten have gotten, yeah. But I tell you, whenever you get a head, if you like doing Halloween heads, if you ever get a styrofoam head that has a, a screwed up nose, just cut it off. And use some fine sandpaper. Sand it down. Paint one of these on there. And you have an awesome skeleton nose. I did that with my uh, 
I sold her. I forgot what I called her. But I did that with her, and she turned out awesome. Also sanded down the mouth a little bit. Okay, so... One there, one there, one there, one there, one there, one there. Okay, I'm just trying to get an idea because I want to put some background of the shadow, and I don't want to do it while the stones are on there. So let's hope I get these right. We'll see. What are those? Um, are you talking about these? Fran, if you're talking about these, these are just rhinestones. Um... I have, God, I got millions of them, but I tell you what, what I use really frequently is this. You can get these at Walmart. It's just a bling bucket, or you can get them at Michael's, and they have tons of colors and shapes, and um, they're awesome. I normally don't use all these colors, and obviously these huge, you know, big ones, but I forgot what it cost, but I'm like, hey, I'm going to get those. And uh, so I was sitting there and I was picking through, got the little diamonds and some squares and circles. I got one big one, but I doubt I'll use it. But that's what I'm going to be using for the teeth. And we'll see how that looks. I don't know. All right, so I'm looking at the center of the nose. So this is going to be the center line. So gonna have two there, one there. Let me turn it upside down. I'm not gonna bother painting it because even though it probably would look better, I'm not gonna do it. Try this first. I might have to paint it. I'm not digging this at all. Not digging it at all. Ah, oh, Denise, thank you for the stars. Dang, 600. Thank you so much. Go bed top. I really appreciate it, Denise. The live will be left um, if you'd like to watch the replay, Fran. Thanks for popping in. Have a good night. Um, just want background. So I know this looks kind of gross right here, but we'll see. We'll see how it looks once I get the stones on. If it looks totally stupid, then I'm going to go in, take them off, and wipe that off and do it the original way. Okay, so... I want to get right to it and put them on there and see how it looks. This is fast grab, so I hate to. Ooh, there we go. Got it. I'm using my fast grab tacky glue, just so you know. <sighs> Dries quick, so I don't have to worry about it sliding down. Oh, Melissa, thank you. You know, you can make these. Um, just a little bit of practice, and you'll you'll probably surprise yourself. You you can do it. Ugh. Disadvantage to fat fingers. Okay, so that kind of shadowing is not going to totally work, but. It's already in the background, so I'm going to leave it. And if you'd ever, you know, like to give it a try, I do have a group. It's called Creepy Corner. And I have a pinned post with all the information about it. You know, and beginners are welcome. I do tutorials that you could follow along and uh, do a great job. And right now is a good time to join because... On October 15th, the price is going to go up. So if you join now, it's $15 a month, and you'll lock in that price, and it'll never go up. And you have immediate access to tons and tons of videos, pre-recorded tutorials, material lists, 
live tutorials. And it's a lot of fun. I have a lot of great people in there. Everybody's very wonderful. And you will find yourself creating styrofoam head art in no time. Can you let me know when you are finished how much you will be selling her for? I mean, oh, absolutely. Absolutely. You will be the first one I, uh, I let know. I wish I had different sizes. You're welcome, Irene. Um, I wish I had different sizes of these. But never tried this, so one, two, three, four. I forgot to share this live to the jo group I joined. Dang it. Let's get to share it. Yeah, see, you can't even really see the shadowing that I did. That's okay. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. So two more on the top. I think it might work out okay. And if I have to, I'll just add shadowing around it and then just, you know, wipe off the shadow on the stones if I need to. Why am I feeling, oh, here they are. It's like, whoa, maybe I don't have enough, but I, I do. Well, I wish I had a little more. I probably do. I'm just sifting through those was a pain in the butt. Okay, before I do that, I'm going to go ahead, even though you really can't see it, I'm going to do it anyway. Just do a few little lines. Great, I had glue there. I'm going to have to definitely add, definitely add afterwards, I could tell. I can tell. The darn glue. That was a mistake. Should have waited for that to dry totally. But okay, back to this. Now we're gonna put them in the bottom. I wonder if I should do them in between. Yeah, I think I will. See, I'm putting them like in between each two. Like there's two, then that one goes in between. I think that will look better. Otherwise, it would be too long because I'd have to go tip to tip. I just realized I need to adjust my camera for you a little bit. Dang it. Let me go a little closer. I don't know, do you like it closer or further away? Just let me know. Whatever you prefer, I will do. Supposed to be fast grab. I don't know why those top ones are even moving. She's got a bling mouth. Bling, bling.
need that Dap Rapid Fuse glue for them. I have got to get some of that. I absolutely need to. Because this, uh, I'm not digging. And it's fast grab, so it actually, it, it dries faster than the quick dry, but not fast enough. One more after this. And again, that shadowing, it was just a big waste. You can't even see it. Okay. Oh, wow. I think I have two more. Okay, I do see this is needs to be further out. Wow, that's kind of cool. How many do I have? One, two, three. Four. Oh, wow. I do have more. Hold up. Hold up. I don't know if I want to add. Let me think. Let me just look really quick. One, two, three, four. Yes. I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to use them. And then I'll count them again. So you guys know if you want to make one, how many you need to do the mouth. And I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy. I figured I grabbed the right amount. Thank you, Melissa. I think it looks pretty cool. I like the, I haven't used rhinestones. I've seen many makeup artists and stuff do the rhinestones and stuff on their mouth. I'm like, yeah, that looks really cool. I'll have to try it sometime. So I saw that hat and I'm like, hey, I'm going to try it on this with that hat. I think it'll look groovy. All right, so let's count again for anybody interested in making their own. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. How is that possible? Wait. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh, that's because I'm putting them in between. So 10 on the top and 9 on the bottom. FYI, these sheets. I highly, highly recommend if you buy them. Sorry, I got other stuff stuck on here that don't belong. Um, if you buy these sheets, buy them at Walmart. I found you through a fake bake group. Oh, awesome. Awesome. I'm so glad you found me. I'm wondering, is it, um, is it Tanya's group? It's, I think it's called, Denise, is it all about crafter? That's a new one she just started. That's the one that I forgot to share to you. I was going to share my my live on there. Let's check it one more time. Still 98. Okay. I'm freaking out. There we go. Okay, so these, ow, these uh, rhinestones here look like they're the same. But just to play it safe, I'm going to use these so I make sure that I have enough. First time watching and very interesting learning. But how artistic do you have to be? Um, Sonia, beginners can do this. Um, what was that beep for? Must be that. I'm not sure if that's what she's talking about. Oh, okay, Denise. Let's be a different one. Denise is a... Um, a group member and so she can offer her opinion too how she feels but I believe that um, by following along with the tutorials 
you don't have to um, know how to do any of it. You know, I I do have a class replay that um, it's in my shop, but it's available free to my group members, and it's a great video um, because it shows everything you need to do basically to create styrofoam head art. The, all the products I use, how to use them, how to get smooth finish, you know, the brushes I prefer, um, paint color, skin tones. And by watching that, it's a really good startup. And then when you go to the videos, um, I try to do be very detailed, step by step. Um, and I believe there's been a lot of success a lot of people have found that you know they've been able to do it and one thing about the group too is that you, you know you can cancel anytime if you're just not happy with it you can cancel anytime but trust me I do not believe that somebody has to be oh you have to be artistic in order to do it no you can learn it just takes time and practice and you'll do a wonderful job Matilda said the lady made a cupcake head. Oh, you know what? That is Tanya. Tanya made a head with a cupcake. Mm -hmm. It is awesome. Awesome cupcake. She, oh, I forgot what she called it. It has a cute name. But yeah, that's Tanya. Hi, Lisa. Thanks for joining. Candy said, Sonia, I can't draw a straight line with a ruler, and Heather taught me. <laughs> awesome. Denise said, if I can do it, you can do it. It's fun. And if you join the group, Heather will teach you how to do head from start to finish, not to mention others in the group will help you as well. Yes, one thing is the group members are so awesome. Everybody, uh, you know, pitches in their comments and, and helps guide everything. Just It's really a really wonderful group of people. We're not like huge, huge. There's probably like 40 people. Um, and it's kind of, it's like family. I've gotten to know most of them and it's, it's just great. But that's, I'm, I'm glad the group ladies are here to talk to you about it. Cause I, you know, I don't want you to think that I'm just trying to say, oh, it's a great group cause it's fine. But it is really fun. All right. Um, I'm loving the rhinestones on there. So I'm just going to go ahead and um okay it was tanya's group Heather, you were right about the name okay good it was the right name i thought it was well i'm going to put these rhinestones um around i think it's going to be very attractive so take my tacky glue and i use a stupid brush sorry let me get a different one you know, liner that's got to kind of work quick with this too because it is fast grab. And see, I was debating on glitter, I got my glitter out, I wasn't sure. Okay, so I love the strip rhinestones because you can just keep them in strips. And they already have sticky, but I, you know what, I wouldn't rely on it, I feel better if I add the glue. I'm just going to do half at a time. And I'm just going to lay it on there. I want to try to stay, come on, you went on good there. Kind of stay within the circle if I can. not to get too much glue and just continue right here hopefully with her veil you're going to be able to see this and don't forget like I mentioned for anybody that didn't hear in the beginning if you're still looking for any Halloween heads still time to buy them I have them in my shop if you go to creepyholidaystuff.com you will see them got some cute pumpkin heads um, I haven't put this guy in there this little guy but I think I'm gonna put him in there 
Okay, a little tricky right there around the curve, but it, it's fine. Where did my sheet go? Thanks, everyone. Will you tell me how to join once more? Um, Sonia, if you go on my page, Creepy Holiday Stuff, I have a, a pinned post, and it has all the information about the group. And um, in the comments, it'll have the PayPal link to subscribe. And it's $15 a month, monthly. And uh, once you do that, then come back to my page and click on Groups. And click on Creepy Corner and request to join. And then I'll go in. I'll get notified by PayPal and then I'll go in and approve. And once you're in there, you have immediate access to probably 70, 80 tutorials, pre-recorded tutorials, material lists. And then um, you'll want to look, too, in there is the replay class that teaches you everything you need to know to create styrofoam head art. Because if you're a beginner, that's where you want to start because I show you... I mean, the video quality is not the best. I have a better camera now, so I should make a new one. But um, I show you everything I use to get you started. And there's even a, a, a bonus tutorial on how to make a half Jack and half Sally at the end of that tutorial. If you have trouble finding it, just let me know. Hi, Patricia. Welcome from Buffalo. Thanks for popping in. You're welcome, Sonia. If I've missed any comment, um, please comment again. I try to look up every so often, but sometimes I miss, and then sometimes some of the uh, comments don't show. This is what I have so far. See what I mean, how she might need an eye? I don't know. Ah, oh, thank you, Lisa. Thank you for the stars. I super appreciate it. Thank you. You guys are awesome. Let's see if I can quick grab. You know, and don't worry if you're making one of these. Don't worry if your circles don't match. Nothing is perfect. It's still going to look awesome. You're welcome, Patricia. Nothing is perfect. So... And like I always tell my group ladies and gentlemen, we have a gentleman in there. Um, don't get stressed. If you have trouble, walk away, come back to it. You could fix almost any, almost any flaw you do. And never try to be perfect. You don't have to worry about being perfect. Thank you, Matilda. Thank you so much. I really appreciate the stars. And I'm telling you, the stars all go towards the good cause. My, my head supplies. Greatly appreciate it. You're not too far from me, Patricia. My niece lives in Buffalo. Buffalo's New York, huh? Yeah. I always wanted to go to New York. It just, oh, for the holidays... Everything it shows on TV, it just looks like such a magical, beautiful place. See how these strip ones are so much easier? And having to go one by one by one. Oh, gotta be quick with this quick grab though. Hold on. Give me trouble. And they grab pretty good because they're already have sticky on them. Okay, so this one didn't want to go. I want to go inside the black. There we go. all over the New York. Awesome. 
I'm not too far away. I'm far away from you guys, California. All the way on the other side. Other side of the states. Oh wow, well that's a perfect fit. That is perfect fit. All right, so I'm gonna move these out of the way. So um, now, being a skull, you want it to have, let me move this camera. Maybe I can move it down so you can have a better. Hold on, I'm just adjusting here. I want you to have more of a straight on. It seems kind of, maybe that's a little better. Ooh, okay. And then I'll zoom out a tad. Well, that didn't really help. I'm trying to make it nicer for you guys to see. Okay, that's about as good as I can get it. All right. Okay, so it's a skeleton. So of course we're gonna want some shadowing um, to create those like cheekbones. But I wanna use some regular white. Don't forget, this is vanilla. Um, so I'm gonna put white on here. What are the teeth? The teeth are rhinestones. They're just rhinestones, and then the round ones around the eyes. And there's 10 to do the mouth. You'll have 10 on top and nine on the bottom. And you wanna make sure that they go in between the top ones. Okay. So now I'm gonna take some white paint. Uh, let's see. Take some white, oh, it's not the brush I want. One second. Where's my round brush? We'll use you. And I'm just gonna go over this. So I'll just kind of cup up. Yeah, like that. I'm not worried about the pencil underneath. Don't forget that when you're doing heads, always use general sketch and wash because when you're done you just wipe everything off with a wet damp paper towel or a rag it makes it very nice if you use a regular pencil sometimes you can't get it all off Dang it, this one is higher than this one. Not what I wanted to do, so I'm just gonna do a correction by making that one go higher. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's the best you can. Just kind of look. This one is a little more curved, but that's all right. I can work with it, I think. Okay. I'm still debating on the eyeballs. I kind of like it just like that. Um, I'm going to let this white dry for a quick second while that's drying. Um, I think I'm going to do a little bit of rhinestone. See, that's that big one. It's just, oh, I think it's just too big. I have another diamond left. I'm going to put it in between. Just get it really gleaned out. Like I said, I don't know how much that's going to show anyway because the because of the the veil. But at least it'll be there. Let's see. She does have bangs on her wig, so I think I'm going to push them back couldn't find one that uh, that didn't have 
the bangs in the white. So just got those. Just do a little tiny design right here for the squares and the diamonds. I almost thought about using some red. Probably would have been um, eye catching. And don't forget the heads are slightly slanted, so I try to push everything a little more and not go completely with a slant because I don't like the way it looks. Complete slant. Just a little design right here. Okay, nothing too crazy. Just a little E one right. Yeah, I'm going to do one right there. Again, it's not going to show a bunch because of her wig and hat, but it, we'll see. Could be wrong. Okay, so this is probably, well, it's close. So I have a little pencil right here. I'm just going to get rid of it. Okay, so um, I am recommending not to do the shadows how I did in the beginning. Um, hold on, that moved. After I shadow here, then I might add some there. I don't know. I always wipe into the paint when I'm trying to remove the pencil, just in case, if the paint's not dry. She is b b b b blinging, <laughs> totally blinging a lot. I usually don't go to this extent, but hey, that was uh, my thought for this one. So we'll see if it was a good choice or a bad choice. All right, so I'm just going to take some black eyeshadow and my little short, uh, stubby but very firm eyeshadow brush. And I'm just going to run right under my white. Be careful if anything is wet or if you have any kind of glossing or anything, you're going to mess up. The eyeshadow will not adhere good at all, so be careful. Trust me, don't do it. <sighs> Always blow on it to get rid of the, um, the fallout. Don't worry about all up here because she's going to have a wig. It's still a little bit wet. I can tell. Where's my, my other brush? Get this one to get a little more flaky. And then also I have a blending brush that I like to use. Which I'll get that out. This one is a little more fluffier. <laughs> Blow off that excess. All that fallout and get everywhere. And then just come a little bit into the paint. <sighs> Dang it, it's wet right there still. It's wet right there. You know, it's a good choice. Okay. Take a second and come over here. Come on this side. Worry. 
worried that I'm going to be a little too much off. Kind of. Let's come up a little more. You got to make sure that you prep your head really good because the more pitting you have, um, this eyeshadow is going to go into it, and you don't want that. So, let me get the skinnier one. Worried I'm not going to be able to get these lines the way I want. <sighs> One thing about the eyeshadow, you can wipe it off if you need to. Just going right in between them. Just for a little something there. Oh. Okay. So now I'm going to come around and go up. Dasher dropped off. Nine o'clock. Hold on. I just got a text saying my Dasher dropped off stuff. I didn't even order. I ordered from Safeway earlier today. That must really big delay in, in a delay in a text message. Oh, thank you, Irene. She's just about done. I'm not doing a much more to her face because I want her to look like a skeleton. Um, I will put the wig and the hat so everybody can see what she looks like. But um, she will be... I'm going to spray her. So she will have a nice finish on her that will protect the shadow and everything. Thoughts on what, Heather? <laughs> on the, when I was in the restroom, I was thinking, you know how I always put eyeballs, um, or lashes with closed eyes or opened eyes. I was like, well, she's a skeleton. So I'm not going to put any eyes because you know how normally it's just holes, black holes in the skeleton. So that's what I think I'm going to do. I'm just going to leave it like that. I don't think I've ever done one like that, but I think that it it goes, you know. I was just curious what you guys thought. Get rid of that fallout. Don't want all that fallout. You can also paint this part here if you want. Um, I like the the shadowy look where it's not like solidy. You know, it's just shadowy. It's not totally flat black straight. 
how it's like shadowed. I just kind of like that. So I'm just gonna come up a little more. Yeah, see, I think like that. She's groovy. All right, let me get this shadow off me. I do have, um, hold on, I have some. Gotta grab it. Dang it. I have to find my black lace. What did I do with it? <clears throat> there it is. Okay. My stick pins. I need this. Oh goodness. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can see her. It's a kind of a crappy view. So. All right, let me move this stuff out of my way. And I'm going to take some lace, just this black. You know, you get it in the tool section at tool section at Michael's. Or Joann's. I'm going to fold it in half. See, just fold it in half like this. And I'm going to paint all these pins. I'm going to paint them black. So don't freak out. You'll be like, wait, that looks yucky. I'm going to paint them black. You want to pin upward because you don't want to stick your hand there and get stabbed. So I'm just going to do a little fake ruffle so it looks like she has a dress on. Just pin upward. Make sure you keep it folded. And just fold it over. So you're just making little ruffles. put the folded side on top so it doesn't open up and separate. Kind of like a little accordion all the way around. Pin it in there. And I only do the front no sense in wasting, you know, the material around the back because she's going to have a wig on. I don't know how to sew, so I have to do stuff like this. I think I'm going to pin it right here too so that it pulls it up a little bit. Oh, there went a pin. Where'd it go? There we go. Actually, I think I have some bling I can put right there too. 
believe so. See what's nice about this is her veil. It's gonna match her veil. Your skeleton bride. My skeleton bride. Ooh, I love her already. Okay. The bangs are yuck, but that's all right. They're not the kind that are just trying to forcefully go forward. So, so I'm gonna pin this on because. I can't even work with it without it being pinned. <sighs> with all of the rhinestones, she was really fun. Let's find one. Let me just put one on each side. I'll go ahead and put one up here. Hold it in place. And turn it around. I usually grab a bundle of it there. Their heads are smaller than ours. Put one more right here. Okay. I like it to be nice and secure. Not that it's really going to even go anywhere, but. Okay. She's almost ready. It's another thing too that's kind of hard is that the hats, you know, they're made for our size head. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll put a piece of felt and roll it and put it inside the hat if I need to. Um, and when I'm doing skulls, I like to use the vanilla on the skin instead of a straight white. Um, if you could see her in person, you'd see you'd understand more what I mean. It's it's more of a skull color. All right, and again, this hat normally I think is supposed to be the back, and here's the front. But I'm going to turn it the other way because I love the veil in the front. I do that with a lot of the hats. out of there. Okay. Trying to move her hair. Oh, my stars. I like her. Ooh. Okay, so she's one I could already tell that needs some felt. So I will have to put some felt. Let's get back a little bit. I know it's probably really hard for you guys to see her. I'm going to probably have to do a different... You're not going to be able to see her until I do a picture. Okay, I'm going to put a nice glob on this rose. Turn her. I'm going to make sure it's in the middle. One second. Remember, the clearer your, your glue sticks, the hotter and the better it holds. I'm just holding it here to make sure. I'm going to have to grab a piece of felt. Oh, there's some felt right there. Because her hat. Let's see. Let me roll some. I don't even glue it. I usually just roll it. Cut it. Stupid scissors. Thank you, Cindy. Uh, this is an, a really awesome one. I'm really 
I'm really loving her look. I love all the rhinestones. I'm surprised I haven't done more like this. I don't know why. So I just roll some felt. I, no need to even get fancy about it because no one's going to see it. And I shove it back here, right inside there. I know it looks tacky, but sometimes that's what we have to do to make things work. No one's going to know. <laughs> and then I'll see if like that should be good enough. Oh my stars, this is my skeleton bride, and she is super gorgeous. I love her, wow. I should have made more like this. Okay, you guys can't really even see her, can you? Um, I wish I had a, bl a blank surface behind so that you guys could see her really good, but I don't. But I will take a picture of her kind of late I'll probably post her tomorrow there she is here's a her hat is beautiful it has like spider webs on it and there's her face I'll try to give you a up close with all her bling bling underneath there and then her little rose and ruffle Awesome, huh? Thank you guys. So, um, I have to price her, and I have one person, um, Irene, I don't know if she's still on here, she wanted to know how much she will be. So, if Irene doesn't purchase her um, and decides to pass, then I'll put her in my shop. Um, but I'll, I'll post that and let you guys know. Thank you. <clears throat> And this is what I'll be doing <clears throat> for my group. I got a little stem um, sculpted on there. I'm just, I gotta do a few coats. I'm using, this color is burnt orange. It's for my group. So I'm gonna do this head. So you guys will be seeing that one soon. And again, if anybody's interested in Halloween heads, I have a good handful of Halloween heads in my shop right now. CreepyHolidayStuff.com. If you do purchase a head that has a hat with it like this, they will come in two boxes. So shipping, um, the regular shipping for my heads is like between 11 and 1150 and there will be an additional 450 for the hat to go because my boxes are all sized for the heads. I can't smash them all in one box. So, um, and your shipping you're paying for priority because I only like to send my heads out priority. I don't like them being in transit a long time. The longer it's in transit, the higher chance something could happen to it. So um, when it comes to my heads, I'm sorry, but I, I do charge the 11, 11.50 and, and that's to get it to you priority, one to three days. Um, so it gets to you safe. So, uh, you're welcome, Candy. Thank you. Thank you all who shared tonight. Thank you all who sent stars. I really, really appreciate it. Um, and my next live is going to be um, maybe this weekend. I don't know. I'm going to be doing this head for this hat. I've mentioned before, I like to go and buy accessories. And then I, I make the head around the accessories. So this is going to be a fun one. And I have a little short, like, black pixie haircut to go with that. <clears throat> so, we'll see you guys later. Everybody have a wonderful, safe weekend. And I'm sure I will see you guys this weekend. Thanks. Have a good night. And Irene, if you're on here, I will, uh, I don't know if it'll be tonight. I'm a little bit tired. But by the morning, I'll have her priced or later tonight. We'll see. And then I'll get a post, a picture posted on my page. All right. Good night, everybody. Have a wonderful evening.